catheter is to wash your hands. So then your veterinary nurse is going to restrain the patient and extend the right foreleg, exposing the cephalic vein. So we're going to clip over the top of the cephalic vein. Always clipping enough fur to give you a sterile site. Don't be stingy about your clip. Then we're going to clean the site using MicroShield 4, which is a soap solution, chlorhexidine and aqueous. Give the side a good scrub, get some of this nice white foam. And then remove the foam using just aqueous on its own. And then the last one is using a tincture swab to remove any excess aqueous. Then a multi swab to dry off the fur around the side to ensure you get a good stick with the tape. <laughs> so your veterinary nurse has the cephalic vein raised, and you should see elevation of the vein through your clip site and then with your catheter slide the pink part the catheter off the stylet bring back to ensure that it's loose and when you slide it up the vein it will slide easily so hand up the side to use your thumb as a base guide for your vein into the vein Check that you have flashback. Once you have flashback, advance the catheter into the vein and then your veterinary nurse is going to hold the blood at the end of the catheter to ensure it doesn't come out all over the table. Plug into the base of the end of the catheter and then we're going to tape. So by getting your veterinary nurse to keep the end of the catheter raised, you can place the tape up under the end of the catheter, around the animal's forelimb, and up and over the top. Always making sure you have a good contact with the tape all around the catheter to stop any movement. Then we can place on our IV fluids or our catheter cap. Today we're going to be placing IV fluids. This dog is having a bitch spay. So we're going to get our veterinary nurse to again stop the blood. We're going to remove the cap and place the end of our IV fluid line directly onto the end of the catheter. Then we're going to turn on our IV fluid line by using the tap. And ensure you have the fluids running in quickly, easily. And then you can dial down your tap to the correct drops per second. Then we need to tape in the fluid line. So we're going to rotate the fluid line up the side of the animal's forelimb and your veterinary nurse is going to hold that at the top for you. 
and then your tape can just have a supporting piece around the bottom here. Again, making sure that you have good contact. And then we can place on our soft band from the toes, working upwards towards the heart. And always make sure that you have your taps or your port available for use. And then the last step is to place your cohesive bandage or vet wrap in the same manner. From the toes to the elbow. Making sure when you're taping or when you're popping your vet wrap around that you're going half of the round before. Again, check that your ports are available and the taps also. And that's how we place an IV catheter in a dog.